Hello, my name is Larry Burley, and I'm now doing a week 10 discussion, chapter 14, discussion 11. I'm part of group 1. In the short video you watch this week, located in the election material for this week, as well as the primary source document for the chapter 14, the following statements was made. America experiences a great surge of commercial development, te technological innovation, and industrial growth at the beginning of the 19th century. We can't just declare it and say we had this fascination with gadgetry technology it has done so much for us in the that's a typo, and we become world leaders. Well, how did that happen? Using the book, information from the book, election video, how did this happen? This is at least two major consequences or important consequences of the market revolution. Revolution in the ability to transport goods and people and create a larger market in the beginnings of industry. So, the important consequences is that um, to get more stuff. It was the beginnings of the Industrial Revolution and basically the consumer culture that we have today. Because um, being able to transport goods, this also, in my opinion, rolls into how people were trying to, uh, to the previous chapter in which how uh, they were building new roads and canals with federal funds, and how um, that could have he helps out with the transport of goods and people to create a larger market. So towns that were originally, basically you could not travel to them with a wagon or a other type of uh, vehicle, you could say, per se, um, you weren't able to go to because the roads were too bad, or there was no road at all. With these new roads, you could do that now. And so, the ability to transport these goods and people made it to where it would be a lot easier. Second important consequences is that people started to... Um, we we built. So, like, the putting out system, like the cottaging system, in which the people in their homes would do everything, and then they'd bring it to market. We started to move away and started to become more of a factory thing, like the Lowell system, in which um, young girls or children would go and work at Lowell's factories, and it would much um, or lots of cloth and clothing. Or question for all groups um, is please reflect on and discuss what you've learned from reading. The two documents on the Lowell factory system. See primary source documents for chapter 14. So the two that I chose were Mary Paul's letters and the um, source book um, Harriet Robinson Lowell Mills Girls um, in which it talks about uh, the early life of a female factory worker who worked in the textile mills of Lowell um, from the age of 10. Mary Paul's letters are very interesting in which to that they talked about how Mary Paul or um she was like very excited to go to work and how um she was like she uh thought it was the greatest thing because she was making her own money she's able to buy her own stuff I'm not sure at the beginning what kind of situation she was in before when she was living with somebody else talked in the letters to her father but she greatly liked it at the very end, though, it talks about how, like, she had to switch jobs and how it's getting, it got harder for her. I think that that is something that I feel like a lot of women at this point in time, because a lot of them compared to uh, work mill life compared to farming life was a lot different, even for men, because the mill life was a lot I mean, the mill life was a lot more fast paced, so I feel like it made it a lot harder for a lot of people to adjust to it. Because our society, modern society, is go, 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 go. But in their society, it was much more laid back and slower. The second one with um, Harriet Hanson Robinson, um, she talks about how it w the law was little more than just a factory village, in which, so there was the five corporations. Um, and how each, how different families worked at different corporations, and how um, they worked and worked, and how she stayed. It's crazy how she worked from the age of ten 
onward. Now, I'm still in high school, right? I'm going to school. And so I think that's crazy how the age differences are now compared to then. Um, thank you very much. And that is the end of the chapter 14, week 10 discussion. Discussion 11. Thank you.